HP and they'll have um, they'll keep that sucking power so they'll be nearly unstoppable if I get like a level 50 of this it's, it's basically unstoppable it's very hard to kill alright let's save the game again it's day 7 as you can tell the days are right here um, what else should I make so I've got my cryptos let's, up, let's work on upgrading my blacksmith Oh, it looks like that building over there died. Oh, what is this? We found the abandoned keep that has the candle. So I'll put some gold here. Let's put 500 gold. And if anyone accepts this challenge, it'll say right here, view hero. So, okay, this hero is bounty hunting. If I don't know where they are, I press right. There they are. So they want to get to this bounty spot. Okay, we'll let you bounty hunt. You get your bounty hunting on. All right. And again, I love these inns. Every time you make a new inn, it always has a unique name. And I've played this game for like years. I have yet to see all the inn's names. And they're really cool, like the Friendly Lodge. There's like the Drunken Dwarf. It's it's really funny. Alright, we'll, we'll do that. We'll research this again. I want to show you guys doors if I get a chance. I don't really like rogues that much. As you can see, they bounty hunt a lot. Um, they're very greedy. Besides enticing them to attack something, they won't really help you out very much. And they're pretty weak. Alright, you can see how many skeletons I have now that are on my side. This skeleton's on my side. This one, this one, this one. Oh, that ranger's trying to destroy this. Okay. We'll save the game again. Oh, it looks like this rat man. You know what, rat man? You're going to get your butt kicked. Give it a second. Watch this. Let's zoom in on the action too, guys. Let's check it out. Ooh. Ooh. You're dead, man. You're dead. Oh, he's gone. Look at his little tombstone. Good job, skeletons. Oh, this one's really weak. Then you can make other stuff. Um, we can make a temple to Fervis. I guess we can do that now. Ooh, that means someone just died. Where'd she die? Oh, no, that's a black spider. Ooh, level... S oh, she died right here somewhere. That's too bad. We'll make another one. It's alright. And then since each of your characters has a unique name, like this one is Sister Dorado, you kind of get attached to specific characters, too. So, let's say this character, Sister Dread, is doing really well con constantly defending your kingdom. You'll you'll tend to like that one more than all the other characters. So it makes it like a really. It's not just a generic character. It's a specific character with a name, with an inventory. Look, she's got four of these healing potions, 50 gold, that's unreported taxable, and this 107 gold that's taxable. These are her spells. These are her specific um, attributes: one strength, 26 intelligence, seven artifice. Um, six vitality so every character is super unique in this game which is really cool you can get like really strong wizards that are stronger than the average wizard um, it's all a crapshoot it's like throwing the dice you know if you're playing if you're playing craps in a casino you don't know what exactly you're gonna get all right we'll stop all right save the game all right, looks like someone got that item there. Someone needs to kill this, man. I'll put some more gold on it. There you go. There you go. So it's dead. And he just got that gold, as you can see. He's at 800 gold, so he's rich right now. Ooh, looks like she just got killed by this Medusa. Is my Fervus done yet? Yes, it is. And with this, I get the spell healing. So let's say one of my people has a really low health. Let's find someone with low health. Ooh. Let's say I want to heal my friendly skeleton. I'll press that. I pay 200 gold. Or 400, I'm sorry. And then it heals it to full. Ooh, I hate trolls. Trolls are pretty bad in this game. Whew. Alright, well, at least these skeletons are going to take them down. Skeletons are really good. They have a very high evasion. A dodge. Evasion. Oh, this skeleton's getting his butt kicked. Oh. Looks like my... Oh, I've got visitors here and here. See, if I market it, he'll, have, he'll be forced to leave, so... The positive of marketing again is you get 
a lot of gold at once. The downside is they can't buy items. It looks like he joined them out. Oh. Man, these... Oh, she was a high level too. You know what? I'm going to upgrade this temple. By upgrading it, I get a special spell here. So there's three spells. Level 1, 2, and 3. Level 3, it lets me resurrect dead heroes. So if I can get that, I'll be able to save people by paying 2,000 gold. Which I'm kind of rich right now, so which isn't an issue. Okay, let's get let's get some dwarves, man. Let's get some dwarves. You need a level three blacksmith to get dwarves, and you can't have gnomes or elves because they hate each other. So if you don't have gnomes or elves, then you can go ahead and get yourself some dwarves, which I'll get in a second. Save the game. Upgrade, upgrade. There we go. Do I have 12 heroes yet? Oh, looks like they're fighting each other. Oh, but my friendly one's about to die. I'll just heal it. Furthest can enchant creatures to be on your side. So this Medusa was evil, but one of these Furthest people turned it into good. And again, you know which one is yours because yours has the little bee flying above it. Has a bee flying above it. All right. All right. So I've look. I can get dwarven se settlement now. There you go. It's a thousand. The dwarves. Oh, he joined the wild spirits. But look, I just got that new spell. Oops. I got that new spell. I might be able to save him. Oh, he's level two. I don't want to save him. I don't want to save a level two. Attacks that once. Once, once, save the game. Oh. No, you haven't died yet. Ready, set, go. Now run away. Run away now. I just paid 2,000 gold to save your butt. Go and don't fight. Alright, well, if, I guess if you're going to fight, you have some backup here. Oh, the other thing is about these Furvis people. When they're high enough level, they transform into bears. It's really cool. Let's see if you can do it. Come a bear, come on. Oh, can't. Put some gold on that. Here's a Dwarven settlement. Oh, and the good thing about these settlements, they have automatic cannons that attack um, any enemies nearby. So this enemy was just killed just by this building. As you can see here. Auto fires ballista bolts at nearby enemies and allows the additional ballista towers to be built. So ballista tower you'd want to put up by like a sewer, because sewers spawn enemies. Um, so here's a sewer. I want to take care of that sewer as quickly as possible. So I'll put a ballista tower right next to it. And there's already this guardhouse, so both of them together will kill whatever comes out of that. Oh, all right, pick that up. Oh, there you go. I won. I got the three items. A rogue. It's always a rogue. Cherk. Darn you, Cherk. Ooh. 15,000. Ooh. And the other good thing about this game is you can continue playing. You don't have to stop. You can keep going with your world. You can go higher, higher, you know, get like amazing people. So yeah, but anyways, we're, we finished this mission, so there's no reason to continue. All right, let me check on the chat room for a second. See how everyone's doing there. Oh, it looks like Jabber was in, and he has. To, oh, Demonic had to go. So Dougie's here. A guy on live watching your vid. All right, Dougie. Let's see. So Polygon's still in. Let's go back to the game, so I don't bore you guys too much. Let's do another mission. All right, what else is out here? Um, oh, there's a lot of expert missions. We'll work our way up to there. I'm still a little rusty. Let's do free the slaves. Advanced.
all right so in this in this case we can build whatever we want because there's no limitations all we have to do is destroy four slave pits and kill Earl Shrek the three-headed beast he's the one who enslaved everyone so let's here we go let's start start it up I'm not gonna build gnomes because oh, excuse me I will right, we'll put this right here. I'm not building gnomes because then I won't be able to build. Um, yeah, see, there's a gnome hovel. I don't want gnomes though. How do I destroy this gnome hovel? I don't want gnomes. Go away, gnomes. I didn't want to build you. There's not X next to it either. No, stop. You're taking up the precious space. So since my money is low, I'm working on upgrading these first before doing anything else. Stupid gnome hovels. So again, if you have gnomes, you can't get dwarves or elves. They cancel each other out, so because they hate each other for whatever the reason is. Like another rogue. Man, my money's really low. I gotta market day this like crazy. Here, let me let these guys get some healing potions and then we'll market day it up. Stupid normal no models here. Let me put some gold on this. See if they'll attack it. There, I'll have my rogues kill these buildings. There you go. Good job. I'm having my rogues attack my own buildings because if I get gnomes, I won't be able to build anything else. And they're in prime real estate. Okay. Poor gnomes. They have such a sad life. Poor, poor gnomes. I will mark a day that. You know, the other thing is it'll level them up, won't it? It's probably a good idea. Save the game, day two. Because this game will free. Oh, did it just rebuild itself? <sighs> oh my god. I sw it just rebuilt itself. Gosh. Please kill it. That's why they're going to this marketplace. They're trying to force me to get gnome hovels, but I don't want gnome hovels. Stop building gnome hovels. Alright. Let's see what this note says. The queen of a nearby kingdom has sent you a healthy sum of gold and pleads with you to help find out what has happened. Some of our missing subjects. Okay. Thank you for that gold. I will now be able to upgrade stuff. Alright, I'll stop destroying my stupid gnome hovels. Because they'll just keep rebuilding themselves. <laughs> they will build some rangers or oh, ranger scouts too. Oh god. There's like nowhere to build anything now. Oh. Oh my god. Here. Give me some room this way. Go. Rogues, go get that. Oh, he went that way. Okay. I guess I can build a ranger's build right there. We'll save the game again. Looks like the rogues are attacking some of the different end enemies that are here. We'll let them increase their weapons a bit. Huh, they're stealing gold from his pocket. <laughs> Alright, go ahead, go purchase some healing potions. 